Question 1. What is 20% as a fraction? Give your answer in its lowest terms. So 20% means 20 out of 100. So we write that as a fraction 20 divided by 100. Now we just need to simplify. We can divide by 10. So we divide both the top and bottom by 10 to make sure the fraction is the same. And then we can divide by 2, which gives us a fifth. Question 2. There are 88 students in a year group. 22 of the students travel to school by car. What proportion of the students in the year group travel by car? Give your answer as a percentage. So the proportion is 22 divided by the total, 88. First, let's simplify that. We see both of these can be divided by 11 to give 2 over 8. Next, let's simplify that further. We can divide by 2 to get a quarter. We know that a quarter is the same as 0 0.25. If you want that as a percentage, we need to multiply by 100 to get 25%. Question 3. A shirt in a shop is selling out fast. The shirt costs £24 to buy. The shop owner decides to increase the price to £36 as he is confident that the shirt will still sell. What is the percentage increase in the price of the shirt? To calculate the percentage increase, we need to find out the multiplier. That's the number that 24 is multiplied by to make 36. To do that, we divide 36 by 24. Let's cancel that down, so we get 18 over 12, which again simplifies down to 3 over 2, which is equivalent to 1.5. That's the multiplier. So we need to figure out what 1.5 is as a percent. To do that, we need to multiply by 100, which is 150%. If we originally start off with 100%, then this has increased. Question 4. There are 240 students in a school. 40% of the students are male. How many students in the school are female? Well, if 40% are male, then that means the other 60% must be female, because that's got to add up to 100%. If we want to calculate 60% of 240, an easy way to do that is to calculate 10% of 240 first. That's 0 0.1 times 240, or the same as dividing by 10, so that's 24. If 10% is 24, then 60% is 6 lots of 24, which equals 144 female students. Question 5. In a settlement of 440 houses, only 165 have a driveway. What proportion of the houses in the settlement have a driveway? Give your answer as a fraction in its lowest terms. So to calculate proportion, we have the number with a driveway divided by the total, 440. We spot that this can be divided by 5. This number ends in a 5 and this number ends in a 0. So we can simplify this down to 33, that's 165 divided by 5, over 88, which is 440 divided by 5. Next simplification we can do is divide by 11. We see that 33 and 88 both divide into 11. I mean divide by 11. We see that 33 and 88 can both be divided by 11. So let's do 33 divided by 11, that's 3, and 88 divided by 11, that's 8. So our answer is 3 divided by 8. Question 6. Four-fifths of the 1,020 students in a school are aged 16 or below. How many students in a school are aged 16 or below? To calculate four-fifths of a number, it's useful first to find a fifth of a number. So we need to do 1,020 divided by 5. That's 204. Now that we've got one-fifth, four-fifths is simply one-fifth multiplied by 4, which equals 200 times 4, that's 800, and 6 times 4, that's 16, 816 students. Question 7. 
After a PE lesson, a student fills his bottle three quarters full with water. The student then drinks one third of the liquid in the bottle. What fraction of the sports bottle is full with water now? Give your answer in its lowest terms. If the student drinks one third of the liquid in the bottle, then the remaining amount of liquid in the bottle should be two thirds of whatever was there originally. We know that originally the bottle was three quarters full, so we're looking for two thirds of three quarters, which is the same as multiplying two thirds by three quarters. If we want to multiply these two quantities together, we can multiply the tops of the fractions, that's 2 times 3, which is 6, and 3 times 4, which is 12, on the bottom. 6 twelfths is equivalent to 1 half, since we can divide both the top and bottom by 2. So, the answer is 1 half. Question 8. Two friends split 340 pounds between them in the ratio 3 to 1. In pounds, how much money does the first friend receive? Okay. In this ratio, we have four parts. There's three parts here and one part here. That's four parts total. First, we need to split the £340 into four parts to find out what one share is worth. So 340 divided by 4, we'll write that as a fraction, 340 over 4. We can simplify that down to 170 divided by 2, by dividing both by 2. And then we can do this division. 170 divided by 2 equals 85. So one share is worth £85. The first friend gets three shares, so that's three lots of £85, which is £255. Question 9. A Year 6 class visits a museum for a school trip. There are six teachers and 72 students on the trip. What is the ratio of teachers to students? Simplify your ratio as far as possible. So, first we need to form the ratio. Teachers to students. The question tells us that we have six teachers and 72 students on the trip. To simplify a ratio, we do it the same as a fraction. If we can divide both parts by the same number, then we can make that simplification. First, let's divide by 2. That's 3 to 36. Next, we notice that we can divide by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. And 36 divided by 3 is 12, which gives us our simplified ratio of one teacher to 12 students. Question 10. The pot of prize money for a school painting competition is split in the ratio of 3 to 2 between the winner and the runner-up. No prize money is awarded for the third place or below. If the runner-up receives a total of £24, how much prize money was awarded in total? So, we have the winner and the runner-up, share in the ratio of 3 to 2. If the runner-up receives £24, then we can calculate what the value of one share was. If this is two shares, one share must be half of 24, which is £12. If we look at the ratio here, 3 to 2, there are five shares or parts in total. If one is £12, then the total amount of prize money must be five times that because of the five parts, which is £60. 